Hey guys, welcome to the next episode. Today I'm going to compare different Launchpad projects. I'm going to explain how much you need to spend in order to qualify for allocations on different Launchpads, what would be the cost of that, uh, as well as uh, I'm going to show you what projects in the past launched on these Launchpads and how much profit did they make to people who invested in them. And before we begin, remember that in the description of every video you will find a link to our Telegram group, so feel free to join the discussion over there. And now, let's start. Let's start with TrustSwap. TrustSwap is one of the first Launchpad projects uh, that was created. At the moment, one swap token costs around $4.00. And in order to get one guaranteed allocation, you would have to have 4,000 swap tokens. So that's cost of around $16,000. But like I mentioned, if you have 4,000 swap, it means you are getting one guaranteed allocation. If you would have more swap, for example, 7,000 swap, you would get two guaranteed allocations. So for example, if one allocation is equivalent of $1,000 of allocation, then if you have 7,000 swap, you would be getting $2,000 maximum allocation. If you have 70,000 swap, you would be getting $6,000 maximum allocation and so on and so on. Of course, it depends on the project because alloc maximum allocations in for different projects are different. And how much would you be able to earn from projects launching on TrustSwap? Uh, just here you have several examples, for example, Mobify 6x. Then we've got Stator that allowed uh, to earn 34x, uh, Cellframe 71x, uh, Bitcash Pay 11x. Then if we scroll down we have projects like Aubit that uh, gave 17x returns or Chain Games that gave 100x. That means if you would invest $1000 in Chain Games on TrustSwap you would get $100,000 profit. Now let's move to another launchpad, which is called DAO Maker. At the moment, one DAO token costs $8. And in order to have a chance of getting allocation in DAO Maker launchpad, you need to have at least 500 tokens, so that's equivalent of $4,000. When it comes to DAO Maker, there is a lottery among everyone eligible, and the more tokens of DAO you have, the higher chance to be picked in a lottery you have. So the minimum you have to have is 500 DAO tokens, then you would have probably around 3% chance of being picked. If you have 1000 DAO tokens, that would give you probably around 6% chance and so on and so on. The more tokens of DAO you have, the higher chance of winning the lottery and getting the allocation you will have. And when it comes to projects that launched on DAO Maker, some of them gave really huge returns. Let's uh, look, for example, at Orion Protocol. All-time high was at 280x from the sale price. So for every $1,000 invested, you would be getting $280,000 profit. Then we had Open Predict 125x. Uh, we had My Neighbor Alice 318x, and so on and so on. Of course, some of those projects gave only 61x, uh, 14x, or 5x. So also have that in mind, and also have in mind that Downmaker doesn't have guaranteed allocation. All of the allocations are based on a lottery. Next project I would like to mention is Ferrum Network. Ferrum Network token at the moment costs around $0.8, and in order to get the lowest tier, you would have to have 25,000 FRM tokens. That would allow you to participate in a lottery among all the people on the lowest tier, and the winners of this lottery would be getting 0.25 allocation. And 25,000 FRM tokens is equivalent of around $20,000. Now, if you would have more than 25,000 tokens, if you have 50,000 tokens, and equivalent uh, would be $40,000, you would get guaranteed allocation of half. So that means if a full allocation is $1,000, you would have half of the allocation, which would be $500 allocation, but it would be guaranteed. And then the more FRM you have, the more allocation you get. So for example, for 100,000 tokens equivalent of $80,000, you would be getting one guaranteed allocation, and then the more tokens, the more allocation you would be getting. 
And when it comes to projects launching on Ferrum Network, and there was Bondly, Pools, Eureka, Inverse, and some other big projects, and most of them gave returns from 10x to 150x. So as you can see, every $1,000 invested in any of those sales would give you uh, $10,000 or $100,000 profit. Let's jump to the next launchpad, which is Paid Ignition. At the moment, Paid Token costs around $4, and in order to be eligible for the lottery on Paid Ignition, you would need to hold at least 1,000 Paid Tokens. So that's equivalent of $4,000 at the moment, and that would secure for you one lottery ticket. And then if you would have 2,000 paid tokens, that's two lottery tickets, 4,000 paid tokens, four lottery tickets, and so on and so on. But have in mind that uh, it's also a lottery, so you may have a smaller or bigger chance of being picked. However, if you are picked in the lottery, then there were some amazing projects launched on paid ignition. For example, Equalizer. And gave return of uh, 10x. It was just recently launched, so it may grow bigger. Uh, then we had IOS. IOS uh, gave a return on investment of around 100x. So for every thousand dollars, you would get hundred thousand dollar profit. Then we had, for example, Split, which uh, gave 50x return on investment. The next launchpad I would like to mention is Duck Starter. DAC token costs one and a half dollars at the moment and in DAC starter we have different tiers. There is bronze, silver, gold and platinum. Depends on the amount of DAC that we hold. So if we would hold uh, 2000 DAC tokens, that's equivalent of $3,000, uh, we would be in bronze tier. If we have 5000 DAC tokens, that's silver tier. And then 10,000 gold tier and platinum would be 20,000 DAC tokens. And what are those tiers? Uh, DAC starter is a little bit different than other launchpads that I've mentioned because over here there is no lottery, there is no guaranteed allocation, but it's first come first serve. So everyone gets access to launchpads uh, of different projects and only the fastest people will be able to buy the allocation because uh, once the allocation runs out no one else can buy anything else. So that being said, of course, if you are in the bronze tier, and the most people would have bronze tier because it's the cheapest to obtain, uh, the competition would be bigger. And of course, there are different allocations for different tiers. So in platinum, there would be higher chance of getting in because the competition is lower. And when it comes to projects that were launched on Duckstarter, and they also gave amazing returns, like on every launchpad mentioned. For example, recently launched Beyond Finance is already at 6x. Then we had uh, also recently launched Totem Fee. And Totem Fee, at all-time high, already gave 34x profit. So that means for every $1,000 invested, you would be getting $34,000 profits. And the last but not least, Polka Starter. Polka Starter is probably the biggest launchpad in the space at the moment. Right now, one Polka Starter token, Pulse, costs around $4. And the best part is that to participate in Polka Starter launchpads, we do not have to have Pulse tokens. To participate, there are uh, two separate pools. One pool is for all the people who don't meet the requirements. And then there is another special pool called Pulse Pool for people who meet the requirements. And in both of those pools, there is a lottery. So for the public pool, anyone can participate whether they have uh, Pulse tokens or not. All they have to do is fill the form about the incoming launchpad, uh, follow the instructions, and then they are added to the lottery. If they win, they will be able to participate in the sale of the token. And then there is a separate Pulse pool where there is also a lottery conducted. And in order to be eligible to participate in this lottery pool, uh, there are two possible ways. One would be providing liquidity on Uniswap for Ethereum Pulse pair. We would have to provide liquidity of at least one Ethereum and equivalent of Pulse tokens. So that's the cost of around four or five thousand dollars at the moment. Another way would be to hold three thousand Pulse tokens. That's the cost of $12,000 and that would also allow us to participate in the Pulse Pool Lottery. 
So of course in the polls pool lottery there are less people, less competition, so the higher of being picked and getting an allocation are bigger. And when it comes to projects that launched on Polka Starter, there are really some huge projects with huge gains. One of the recent ones is Polkamon. Polkamon gave returns of 280x from the price that we had on Polka Starter to the all-time high of Polkamon. So that means for one thousand dollars invested in polls you would be getting two hundred eighty thousand dollars that's huge and then there were of course uh, other successful projects uh, chain guardians that gave around uh, 100x return there was antimatter that gave around 99x return and so on and so on so all of those projects were pretty successful and when it comes to launchpads, as you can see, there is a variety to choose from. There are those that give uh, guaranteed allocations, there are those that give uh, lottery chance or first come, first serve. And when it comes to launchpads, that would be it for today. Please let me know in the comments which of these launchpads is your favorite and remember to hit thumbs up, subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.